Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to or because I think it would be easy. But because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the girl with the pig. You mean talk about the girl with the pig? Like, look at the weird girl with the weird pig? How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay. That might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> All right. Do you hear that? Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. Now we're on. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome! It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, 
We're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Not too shabby. Give me a dragon war, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa! What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't. No, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up? Now you're being realistic. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun! After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Ah. Uh... Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three, team! Bear.
know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Order of the Pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. 